do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, y'all, we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today we have an insecure woman. That's it. We have an insecure woman who ends up shaving her boyfriend's head because she was sick and tired of girls staring at him. She did not like the fact that he got so much attention from girls. He was just so, I don't know, just perfect in girls' eyes. I don't freaking know. So she cut his head, shaved him bald. Joke's on her. He now gets more attention. I don't know how. He's bald and gets more attention. But I'm curious to see where, where the heck this story goes, how this story goes. I'm, I'm just curious to watch it. You know what I'm saying? If you excited for this video, smash the freaking like button. Man, y'all been enjoying these type of videos. I've been enjoying making them, so I'm going to keep pumping them out. Without further ado, man, let's just hop right into this. I shave my boyfriend's head, but he gets even more attention from girls now. He gets attention from other girls, which hurts me. I hate when they compliment or talk to him. It makes me feel jealous. He knows how I feel and in the six years of being together has always said the same thing. I'm the only girl he cares about. He would reassure me, but he stopped last year and said he feels exhausted all the time. See, boom, bada boom, bada bing. Let me slow this down because they talking fast. Bada boom, bada bing, right? <sighs> he is reassuring her. He's not just like entertaining these girls he's not like oh d d d don't worry about it you know what I'm saying? he's reassurance to her saying you're the only girl i want you're all i want but she still doesn't believe him that's the insecurity problem on her behalf and that's annoying that's so annoying like if you insecure get get secure before you get in a relationship because it, it's not the other person's fault if you insecure and you always second guessing what they're doing because you are insecure in yourself like that's not fair to them to always be questioning them because you think you booty balls ugly and every other girl is way better, or every other guy is way better, whatever situation you're in. That's, that's my two cents. I'm because I don't trust him. I'm always accusing him, and he's always stressed and worried that I'll get upset if someone talks to him. He had long hair, and that's the conversation starter that a lot of girls used. I've been trying to get him to cut it for years, but he would never listen. It was my birthday a couple months ago, and I said that's all I want for my birthday. He got a buzz cut and now girls say how his buzz cut is such a mood and I feel like it has backfired as he gets even more attention now. He's still upset about cutting his hair as it took him years to grow and I feel really bad. He didn't talk to me for an entire week after he cut his hair. Seriously, he works part time doing Uber. I gifted him this dash cam, but it has a live feed feature as well so I can see in real time what's happening. This girl is crazy. She got him a dash cam that has live feed so she can go on her freaking phone and see who he's picking up. Every time, I'm already, I'm already seeing it. Every time he picks up a girl passenger, he gets a text message. Oh, so you like her, huh? You want to drop her off at where she wants to go? I can see it already. He talking about, I'm a, I'm a freaking Uber driver. What am I supposed to do? I can already see it. She's sitting there. As soon as she gets a notification, some motion detector, motion detector notification on her phone that somebody entered into his car, sitting like this, watching. Is it a girl? Watching the whole entire freaking ride. That's a four-hour drive that he just picked this one girl up. He, she going to visit her family in Boston from New York. And she watching the whole freaking, whole freaking thing to see if he, he go cheap. It just be crazy girls like this, bro. Like, you're crazy to buy a dash cam that has a live feed so you can watch your boyfriend. That's so stupid. Happening with audio. He doesn't know about this. I've noticed a lot of female customers being touchy-touchy, and it makes me so mad. He doesn't do anything and always says stuff like, please, I'm married, Elmo, but still makes me so mad. What? I sometimes ring when he has female customers, then I can see him real time and how he reacts to my phone call. Sometimes he'll not pick up and later says, oh, I didn't see her call. I watch the entire thing. So all the way into the night, like for him, when it gets late, always around to him, he parks someplace and just cries for a solid 10 minutes. It's so difficult to watch and he never brings it up to me. Wait, he wait, 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 rewind that. What did he say? I don't like this speed. It was going too fast, but now it's too slow. Gets, I watched the entire thing, so all the way into the night like for him. When it gets late, always around to him, he parks someplace and just cries for a solid 10 minutes. It's so difficult. Why does he just sit there and cry? You got to be the worst girlfriend in the entire freaking world if he sits in a parking spot randomly and just freaking cries. <laughs> Lady, why are you so horrible? Difficult to watch and he never brings it up to me. 
He doesn't know about the live feature so I how I can even bring it up. I ask him stuff like oh are you okay or your eyes look dry etc. But he never mentions it. Another thing I've noticed is how sometimes he'll rant about me. He'll tell customers about incidents in the past when I've been upset about girls. One time he told this customer and this dude replies oh bro you don't need that stress and started narrating how to destroy our relationship and Literally. how we should move on. He responded with how much he loves me and I'm the only girl he has been with the other dude replied with it's not love you're just attached leave her and find someone that's not stressing you. Life is too short. There was a lot more but it annoys me thinking about that. What's worse with- That's true like come on bro you don't need- she she needs to fix herself or you need to fix your relationship and get the heck out of it seriously like that's too that's pointless stress realistically that's pointless stress you don't need to be in that type of relationship you need to remove yourself out of there or help her fix her insecurity problem. well you can't really help her fix it because you're trying to you're reassuring her you're doing all the right things you're telling her you're like yeah you're all i want you're beautiful bada 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 these other girls is nothing these other girls is nothing i only want you type stuff and you're doing all that but she's still not believing that's a problem within herself i don't know what you need to do probably prayer is the only way that could fix her prayer and give with something give with somebody else i ain't gonna lie to you she ain't the one i'm telling you right now she ain't the one was he was actually giving it thought he has everything on speakerphone so i listen into his phone conversations he's overly nice to everyone which makes him likable so everyone's always ringing him it's the girls that worry me they ring late night and share so many personal details it's crazy the amount of dirt i know from the calls about people is insane i just want him to myself i don't want people complimenting him or touching him is that too much to ask we've had this conversation an endless amount of time i mean okay now, so the touching bring... thing is i understand that like if he a uber driver and his shorty's in the back seat and you pick them up and they all touch their shoulder like, oh, you're such a good driver. The way you made that left turn really turned me on. Like, come on. Like, I, I understand that, right? Why are you touching me? Get the heck, get off me. I'm married. You know what I'm saying? Like, get the heck off me. I'm not, I'm not here for that. I'm here to drop you off at Burger King where you can go meet your bum boyfriend and get dropped off back home on his freaking bicycle. That's what I'm here for. I'm not here for you to be touchy-touchy with me. You know what I'm saying? I understand that part, but the rest of the stuff is crazy it up he doesn't even response it's like i'm invisible he pretends he didn't hear and will continue whatever conversation we were having he told me recently he can't keep going like this and it's ruining his sleep that i need to trust him or he will be forced to leave please help i can't help feeling this way this is the only relationship i've ever i can't lose it this is the only reason that's that explains it that's the only relationship she's ever had that's it she you need to break up with her she's a loser she, she, she she's a loser nobody else wanted to date her why would you want to date her come on like be realistic you 25, 26. She says she's what, 26? Let me rewind this. Hold head, on. But he gets even more. She's 23. No, she's 24, right? And you only had one boyfriend. Nobody ever wanted you. I know why. Because you're freaking annoying. Like, fix your insecurity problems. You know what I'm saying? All you people out here that have insecurity problems, please don't get in relationships. If you do get in relationships, make that your number one priority to fix. Because that's so, that's just... Imagine you're just a regular dude. You chilling. You you a great dude. You do everything for your girl. You you reassure her. You all, you know what I'm saying. You take care of her. All that. But she always accuses you of cheating. Like really, like for real cheating. Not that play. Like oh, that must be your other girlfriend. That play stuff that girls be doing sometimes. I'm talking about like you always cheating on me. Like some real stuff. You know what I'm saying? Imagine that. That's just so like annoying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. That's freaking crazy that she made that boy shave his hair. By the way she is sounding, he had like a freaking long hair down here. Like, he really been trying to do that. Like, some surfer boy or something like that. And she just made him cut it because she think girls taught him too much. Lady, maybe you just get, get better looking. I don't know. Well, getting better looking doesn't make you more secure in yourself. I don't know what it is. What, what in the comments down below helps you with insecurities? Somebody comment down below. What will help increase your secureness in yourself when you're in a relationship so you don't always think your significant other is cheating because i think he's doing a pretty good job he's saying all the right things he's doing all the right things i don't got no more advice for him honestly i have advice for her which is to uh break up and fix herself uh, but for him my advice is to break up find someone else or wait for her to fix herself and go back to her type thing but um yeah that's the end of the video if y'all enjoyed the video smash the freaking like button if you enjoyed this video i know you enjoyed this video right here this one was crazy these people have three kids. Boyfriend and girlfriend have three kids. Husband and wife. I'm not sure. But they have three kids. Joke's on them. They're brother and freaking sister. Biologically. Hey, watch the freaking video. It's crazy. That's about it. I'm going to see y'all out.